Hello everyone and welcome back to Trails in the Sky second chapter. Uh, we are currently in chapter 3 and we just got into Grand Cell. Um, in the last one I finished up by just walking around and going to the shops making sure I got everything I wanted from them. But I haven't actually talked to all the NPCs yet so I'm going to do that first before we continue on with the main story. Oh, are these the people we saw on the ship? I think so. Oh, maybe not. The age difference isn't as big as I thought it was. Oh, it's literally all you're gonna say to me? Okay. Hey, this lady. like they're in a meeting. Yeah. Talking about the mayoral election and Neil, who is not here and it makes me sad. I got stuck on a banister. <laughs> uh, sounds like me, huh? Oh, I can just go into the sewers? <laughs> I, I didn't think they would let me just walk right into the sewers. We will definitely check that out later. Oh, this lady! Okay. Yeah, we did that side quest for her with the reason he lost. There's nobody in this house. Okay. I remember his name. I'm not a house husband. Nope. Not at all. Nothing wrong with being a house husband. Nothing wrong with that at all. Quiet, sophisticated experience. <gasps> that seagull's name was Hash Brown? Oh, oh no. There's still distressed water droplets, too. Poor hash brown. I was gonna say, I don't think we went into the harbor. We did not. Apparently it was closed off the last time we were here, so we'll definitely have to check that out. Churches are so boring. I'm with you. I'm with you, little dude. Not my thing. Could easily fit inside of it. Oh, are you the one he spoke of, perhaps? Who's he? I don't think I know anyone here. The goddess saves those who save themselves. May you find good guidance. What? The other day when I visited the Songtime Gate, I felt the earthquakes that everyone's talking about. Though they are over now, the folks in Zeiss must still be quite nervous. After all, earthquakes can happen suddenly with no warning. Yeah, I remember this guy. He was helpful. He helped them fix everything at the gate. Okay. 
Oh, no, I missed a door. And then got stuck on a pole. This is going really well. This is General Morgan's house? Can be a very scary person. He's totally under his wife's thumb. I believe it. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Okay. Some nice people who rescued me. Yes, indeed, we did. You got held hostage in the Herb Royal Villa. Ugh, dang it, didn't let me talk to a seagull that time. This guy came up to me a bit ago and BAM! I got a fishing rod. Don't know why, but if someone wants to give me free stuff, I ain't saying no. Figured I might as well try fishing if I've got it too. Good point, I should be looking for fishing spots while I'm here. This guy just needs a little confidence in himself. How is there no fishing spot here? That would be like perfect. Holy cow, that's really big. We're gonna go to the management place first. I was just gonna come back to it on the way back, but... Hey, you're the people who beat me at the casino in Rouen. Uh, uh, nice to see you too, I guess. <sighs> Listen, please. After that, I tried making up for the money I'd lost with all kinds of gambles, but... That match with you was where my luck turned. When I realized everything I'd won had disappeared, well... Really? It's kind of sad. Gambling for riches is not but a fleeting dream of a single night destined never to come true. Yeah, if only I'd figured it out sooner. I guess it's true of anything, but you should always know when to quit. I didn't, and I made things hard for my wife because of that. I'm gonna do all I can to make it up to her. Aww. Now he's actually like a really sweet husband. Why are there so many back paths with no fishing spots? No, I'm not trying to rent a warehouse. I'm just walking around. your daughter? That's that's not good. <laughs> sure, dude, whatever you say.
I wish I could reunite them. <laughs> Just follow me and I will bring you to your mom. I, I know exactly where she is, I just can't do anything about it. So far, this harbor is a lot of useless space. There's not really anything I can do. But I can stand on the prow of the ship. Because why wouldn't I want to do that? Oh, finally! Good god, I just had to walk around the whole thing to find a fishing spot. Ooh, I got a crab. That's enough fishing for the moment. I know, I put in all that work to find a fishing spot and then barely fished, but... Shh, that's not the point. I can't even interact with that lighthouse. Usually they at least let you poke it or read the tag on it or something. All that work for two crabs. <laughs> that was it. That was all I got from coming to the harbor. Two crabs. I think I investigated everything in the west block. Yeah, should have been. I don't think I missed anything. And I know there's not much in the north block we can do because it's pretty much just the palace, I think. And the hotel. your button fishing, huh? Yes. Yes, please. I will take the new rod. Sweet! I was kind of hoping I'd get something while in Grenzel, because fishing's a big thing here.
Well, yeah, who's not a fan of Miss Julia? Aw, I just noticed her there. Princess Claudia, I didn't know you were back. I came on a bit of a different business this time. I, I see. Should you have business within the castle, just say so at any time. Yes, thank you very much. So they tell me I can go in the castle, but they're not actually going to let me in the castle. There's so many random unnamed NPCs. <laughs> What's wrong with Fritz? Well, the hotel was boring. This is a nice house. This real head honcho. Peace is so boring, I can't even muster up the will to work. I, I think that's the first time I've ever heard someone say peace is so boring. You know, other than people trying to start a war. Dude with the top hat. I think I remember him. We ran into him when we first got here. And he was laid off from work. He was one of the people who works at the palace and was like laid off. I have a feeling I know who that pianist was. Yeah, I think I already ate that all in the last episode. I'm already forgetting what I just did, but I made a point of going around and eating everything. That direction just goes to the east block. Ooh, that's that's a fence thing that I can't walk into. <laughs> anybody else in here except for the vendor. I'm trying my best to not miss anything. Any items or side quests. It's a lot of work though walking around talking to every single person in town. Is there anybody else here? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need to remember to mess with my orbment stuff before I go on to any more battle areas. Ooh, popcorn you say. Not exactly sure what mobility popcorn is, I would assume it. Helps movement speed. The likelihood Troy will be late for our agreed time is 83%. Yes, he did get sidetracked. He totally forgot he was supposed to be here. Ooh, mystery crepe, you say? Low calories despite the contents. That's concerning. He would have been the dude to talk to first when we got into town. So he kind of just told us everything we needed to know. Yeah, Lloyd's still here. I come to and work when I can. I want to join the Fisherman's Guild, but I do like fishing. Ooh, I wonder if that's a thing. Can you actually, like, work your skill up enough to try to catch the Guardian? Is that something you can do? Houses are so nice. I'm jealous. Yes, of a video game house, you heard me correctly. Definitely deserves it. And this is the arena, which is probably closed at the moment. Oh yeah, there's not even a ticket person there. sense. There's no reason for them to put us in there right now. This garden makes me sad. Olivier? Where the heck have you been? Oh, what is it? Nothing. You've been hiding from us ever since you went to Elmo for a little break, haven't you? Mueller was livid. I bet he was. Oh, as always, a very cute man. Wait, Olivier. You haven't been keeping quiet to the embassy about working with us, have you? Yeah. <laughs> roads wandered in search of love are roads to travel in secret, but of course. The heck is that supposed to mean? It means, yeah, he didn't tell anybody he was there. Museum. I never actually looked at everything in the last game. I was going to, but there's just so much stuff. I suppose I could do that now. In an era defined by conflict, war became a way of life, and as a result, warriors came to wield great influence in society. This eventually led to them becoming a privileged social class of their own. The knights wielded armaments like 
ease when they went out onto the battlefield, returning with more spoils and land, and gradually increasing their influence and power all the more. Immediately following the Great Collapse, the world was plunged into confusion, signaling the beginning of what came to be referred to as the Dark Ages. This era was defined by almost endless conflict between various powers and numerous nations, large and small, and lasted for roughly 500 years. Around 1200 years ago, the advanced civilization of Zemiria was at its peak, then suddenly and inexplicably it disappeared. A great collapse occurred, destroying the Zemirian culture and plunging its people into a dark age of ruin. The items exhibited on the first floor are from the very beginning of this era. They aren't believed to be products of the ancient civilization itself, but nonetheless its influence is clearly visible upon them, giving them immense academic worth. A device built to hold fire, most often found near towers and other ceremonial structures, may have religious significance. A piece of tiled floor from inside a ruined building, broken stones fit together to create beautiful and intricate patterns. Found at the bottom of Lake Valeria, adorned with reliefs similar to those found on the walls of the tetracyclic towers. How did they get a section of the tower wall? This wall segment was cut and carried from a tetracyclic tower, a structure built shortly after the Great Collapse. Depicted upon it are a staff-wielding priest and a winged godlike being typical of period frescas. Scholars continue to examine the designs for any connection with Adios. So they literally just stole a chunk of wall. Hey, Santos! <laughs> Who are you again? The person we took a picture for, Estelle! God, your memory is awful! I'm Santos with the History Museum. I asked you to take photos of the tower in Ruan. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember now. So how'd it go after that? Find out anything about the tower device? No. Embarrassingly, I haven't really had any success. Everything about it is just so unknown. However, we do know the tower itself was built during the ancient Sumerian era. First, I suppose I need to check out what references we have in that area. Hmm. Archaeology doesn't seem like the kind of thing that comes up with results that easily, huh? I guess all I can say is good luck. Yeah, I'll do my best thinking of this as the first step to uncovering lost ancient knowledge. Oh, cool, there's nothing to read up here. <laughs> Good God, how big is this museum? It's been only 50 years since Professor C. Epstein invented ornaments, and world technology has advanced at lightning speed ever since. Perhaps the most notable representative of these advances is the modern orbital-powered airship. These orbital ships are already used extensively in Liberal, but neighboring nations such as Erebonia have also begun to devote themselves to their manufacture as well, and smaller-sized airships are also used. Nothing on this wall? Okay. The first appearance of the Septian Church occurred around the year 500 and marked the end of the Dark Ages. The church centered around the goddess of the sky, Adios, and espous espousing an ideology of human salvation, began to take an active role in society and rapidly permeated social consciousness. Eventually, the nobility and knight class could no longer ignore the church's power, and a new order was established with the church at the center. Artifact. A relic of any shape or size found in an ancient ruin and generally of unknown or uncertain purpose. The church believes these artifacts have some connection with the Septi Septarians, gifts from Adios, and their recovery is one of the duties that the church fulfills. It artifacts are said to have supernatural powers, but those on display here are all ones that have since lost said powers and are no longer functional. She doesn't even remember Alba? Flippin' Weissman erasing her memory. The man-powered machine used to spin thread as the Septian era continued and people became accustomed to peace, cotton and other crops became more widely cultivated and sold. This was also the era in which handicrafts with the intent to obtain money came into practice. 
handwritten copy of the scriptures used by the church at the end of the Dark Ages. The ability to print did not exist in the Middle Ages, leaving no choice but to copy by hand onto pieces of parchment. The church has long been a source of art, and this has been true since the dawn of the Septian era. It was around the year 900, however, that the current likeness of Adios is thought to have been first created. Likewise, many of the ritual items used by the church today first assume their present forms in this time period, too. Okay, we did all the history and things. Okay, I think that was most of the people here. Should I already talk to you? Oh, Jimmy. No, I did not. What are you doing here? All right, delivering that artifact, huh? Yeah, it may have lost its power, but who knows what it might do after all. I'll entrust it to these guys. Good call. If you'd also give up on treasure hunting and get a real job, that'd be even better. Ouch! But I'm afraid I can't. I suppose it'd be different if I could find something even more romantic than being a treasure hunter. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Moved here because of the martial arts competition. Okay, almost done talking to everybody. For some reason, he always just buys donuts and comics. Uh, Dunan's always the same, huh? There are now! We fixed it! Okay. One last place to look. You have art, yeah, but... Thank you for being completely useless. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy on the airship who wanted to take a picture of it. Because it's being made even more awesome, random dude. Oh, Rutherford. Okay, I think <laughs> we hit like every person in the city of Grand Cell, which is saying a lot because it's a really big city. <laughs> and for the most part, we didn't get anything. We got the new fishing rod, and we got some interesting information, but that was about it. <laughs> so we're gonna end it here, and then in the next episode, we will head over to the villa and try to continue on this main quest line. We might be able to get the Herb Scenic Route 1 on our way there. Chrono Cider. Dang it! Hate those things. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I know this wasn't a most thrilling episode, but the next one should be a little bit better. 
I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time.